What's up, babies? Mm. Mm. Let's continue on in the old wind temple here. What I did was I went back. As you can see, I have a hood now, which is great. Add a little armor there. We're, we're pimped out. We're pimped out. Look at this. Got so much food. We're ready to go. I think here's the plan. I think what we're going to do, since this is the last one and it's down here. I want to see if we can go, like, hit this, wrap around. You know what I'm saying? So let's try it. Let's try it now. Oh. No, you don't. It's funny you mention that, because I'm actually not fighting any of you. I don't know. I'm so scared. I'm so scared to try it. So scared to try it. So scared to try it. Okay, we're saving. I'm just gonna save. In case anything bad happens. Oh, it auto saved anyways. I'm so dumb. Okay. Let's see here, everyone. See what happens? Uh. Nothing? What if I want to ascend? What if I want to ascend? Damn. Okay. Definitely getting there somehow. Definitely getting there. Interesting, dude. How oh, interesting is that, dude? That's so strange. But I guess not strange in a way. How do we get up there? Huh. I, I, think, I think we're kind of stuck now. Here, let's just do this. Interesting. So there's a fan under there. Oh, wait, I don't know how. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Everyone. <laughs> These load times are crazy. Okay, here we go. Now. Someone could explain this to me, it'd be great. That's locked. Now that's interesting. That's something new that I haven't explored yet. Let's see what, what it does there. Interesting. Yeah. What are we doing here? What you here? Don't climb, idiot. I don't know how to get in there. I don't know how to get in there. I don't know what to do. This game sucks. This game sucks. I see these boxes. Do they want us to stack and go up? That would seem kind of silly, though. Maybe it's not silly. It's like, why would these be here, you know? Cool. 
cool. Now they're broken. Unreal, dude. Unfucking real. I like to ascend, bitch. Holy moly. Holy moly, bitch. I'd sure love to get in here. Damn, those fuckers are fighting. Try something a little bit hornier than what we're used to. But what's up there? I don't see anything. Bitch. I don't see anything. But there's just a chest up there, but might as well go get it, you know? Have some fun. Have some fun while we're not having any fun. Trying to access this last motherfucker. There's no way we'll make it there. How are you supposed to get there, then? I don't know if we're going to make this one, dog. Hmm. I am simply confused. It appears as if this, if this opens at some point. And that point's right now. I'm just going to open it. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> God damn it, dude. God damn it. <laughs> Holy shit, what do we do here, boys? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> hey! Okay. Let's let's get a feel for thing. Oh, Oh, we did it, boys! We did it! Let's go! <laughs> Love that. That's something I've noticed about this game. In my head thinking, like, that solution's probably complicated. It's usually not. Cool, now we're gonna get our teeth kicked in by an enormous boss, I bet. in here. Hopefully arrows or something for my rear. Oh, an old SB. Can't take that out here. Did so. All right. Now this could this could be a little tricky, I think. If we're not careful. There we go. Ew, shit, dog. Perhaps a save. I think it's going to be a big bird. My, my guess is it's going to be a big bird.
Oh, this is dope, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah! Thing is humongous. <laughs> I don't think it's a bird. <laughs> Let's go. What? Colgate toothbrush, dude. That fucking toothbrush, dude. Got to down. We've gotta make it frown. What? This wind is so strong. Don't get blown away, Link. We gotta get under him somehow. We gotta get under him. Oh. Oh. No, I want. It. I'm trying to hurt it. Did it hurt it? Oh, it is. It is hurting it. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's doing something. It's doing something. It's mean. It's mad. It's mean. Oh, it's going into a hole? This boss fight's mental! <laughs> Dude! Where? Oh, uh, how was I supposed to dodge that? How was I supposed to dodge that? <laughs> Yo, this is crazy! This is crazy! Oh. Yo, let's go! We're fucking this thing up, dude! And this guy's giving us positive reinforcement the whole time? I love it, dude. Music? Let's rip! Ay 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 ay! It's fucking music's getting me hyped. Ay ay ay! Oh, there it is! I see it! I see it! I see it! I see it! Shit. Okay. Oh shit! I don't know if this is gonna hit it. Ah fuck! We gotta get under it. We gotta get under it somehow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh! I think I'll do homing missiles for that part. Oh. Oh. Here it comes. Hey, Thanks. I don't know how to get away from it. That's the only problem. Where'd it go? What? Where is it going? How do I go up again? I want to go up again. I want to go up again. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, dude. Ay ay ay. Thanks, man. Where did he go? Link, Where? Oh. Oh, this is intense as shit, dude. Shit, dude. <laughs> Yo, this game is. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. Let go. Ay, 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 he's not shooting. Why is he shooting? Oh, 
on, we gotta get one off. We gotta get one off. Let's go! Let's hit him! Let's go! He's mad about something. Okay, bye. Ay ay ay. He's now an angry fellow again. Oh, brother, dude. Okay. I will try my best. I will try my best, mister. Oh, man. This is intense, dude. This is intense, dude. I know, bitch. I know, bitch. the one? Is that the one? That's the one! Oh, damn it, I messed up. Yay! Yay, yay, this is so intense! I can't even believe it! I can't even believe it, how intense it is. Let's go! Thanks for the positive reinforcement, my friend. Love this guy, he's so nice. Oh, I better not. See, now I figured out how to dodge it. Fuck you, dude. Let's go. We got one eyeball left. That's it. Let's go. Come on, baby. We're making great progress on this little boss. Oh. Oh, that was almost it. Oh, come on. Oh, this is it. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. I need an eye. Give me an eyeball, baby. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! First try. First try. No deaths on that one. Let's fucking go. That boss fight was mental, dude. Let's fucking go. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not, you fucking idiot. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what game you're playing, but it's not this one. Brother, dude. Fucking hyped as shit right now off that shit. Fucking slowing down time, hitting him with the bop, hitting him with the snipe with the homing arrows. Come on, dog. This game is unreal. Fucking diving, floating, gliding in and out. Fucking bop. You know what I'm saying? Do, 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 do. Ah. Uh. It's insane. Damn, only 36 arrows. But think, like, imagine you go into that fight with no arrows. What do you do? I got motherfucking six of them, dude. Let's go. We went from four to six in one episode. Talk to him. Bitch. <laughs> Tulin, my brave fledgling. I know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Yes, 
I am your ancestor from a time long ago. I proudly served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the Demon King. He thought he could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden, I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war. And the mission our people must accomplish. Years ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to help in the fight. Rauru entrusted us with amazing artifacts, secret stones, objects that amplified our formidable abilities. I carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. I was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Rauru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world, King Rauru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the Imprisoning War. The rest of us survived that climactic battle. And I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. It was another of the Six Sages, the Sage of Time. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito would play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. And now you know about the Imprisoning War, and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Link. It's my mission to fight the Demon King with you? Link! This is so, so amazing! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission, and it involves fighting alongside you to save the world! If we don't do anything, then the world is gonna be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this! I'll happily take this secret stone! Fuck. Muted that whole time.
I wasn't really saying anything anyways. That's funny, I'm glad I recognized that though, because I would have been muted the rest of the episode. <laughs> I'd have been like... He's got an anklet, dude. <laughs> yes. Check out what I can do now. Huh? <laughs> what? Blink. Look at that big ass shield he has, dude. That shield is hilarious. Is he gonna give me the power, dude? Let's go, dude. This is hype as shit. This is a video game. It's proof that I'm with you. What? That looks badass as fuck. I can't handle this game, dude. This game is mental. This game is mental. What's going on? Got rings now? One ring to rule them all. Oh, brother. You can use that ring to call on my power anytime. All right? Okay. Fucking dad, dude. <sighs> I need a fucking nap. I need like a I need like a spa day after this game. I need like a fucking I just need to be put in a tank. I need my phone turned off. I need to be put in a sensory deprivation tank and just hibernate like a whole day after playing this. Like the boss fight was that was one of the coolest boss fights. What are you talking about? Like the whole getting to that temple, the temple itself was fine. It wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing. But then the fucking, the cinematics with the music. I mean, it's just too much. I can't handle all this, dog. Is it gonna be sunny and nice? Oh hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, smell yeah, dude. This is one of my favorite things in video games, when you do something and it changes the world, you know? <gasps> ah, fuck! I literally have full body goosebumps every five minutes playing. I can't I can't go a single cutscene without wanting to cry, dude. This is mental. Oh. <laughs> mm. She's the sage of time, man. She can do whatever she wants. Hmm. That's gonna be sick. 
So if we're climbing now, we can just dip around easily. Open the adventure log. Nah, bitch, we saving first. Even though it does autosave for you really well. Just paranoid with it. Damn, I can't believe we did it, dude. Three more regions. And now I don't know what to do, like... Because I, I feel like I don't want to go to another one of these. Because that was a huge chunk. That was like, what? A couple hours of gameplay getting there. I think that was like two and a half episodes, basically. And then there's this other shit, too. So, like, here's the other thing. Let me, let me show y'all something. Key items menu. Where is it? How do I do it? How do I summon him? How do I summon him? It doesn't say how to summon, bitch. Let's see. Action, action. Change equipment. Baby, baby, baby. Baby. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not so sure. So sure. I don't know how to. Okay. I figured you had nothing to say. Um, I don't know how to summon him. I don't even know what to do next. I'm like, I'm flabbergasted with how good that was. Definitely go up there at some point. Um, the other thing I can show y'all is the underground. So I, I did get into the underground a bit. There's the depths now, so check this out. Not only do we have the regular map, Sky, we also have the Depsh, Johnny Depsh. It's crazy. It's just mental that regardless of if you're like in the sky, ground, you get too tired of it. So like Breath of the Wild, you're just on the ground, right? That wasn't boring, but like you could just go up mountains, you could go down into caverns like that, valleys. It's crazy in this game that you could have three, three things for you. Mental. Absolutely mental. Let's just jump off and do something. Fuck it. Get this Korok seed, dude. Ocha. How many of these do I have? About 13? Okay. The chest down here, right? Yep. Hey, these are worth a lot of money. Wait. I don't know what I'll do next story wise. Could do the geoglyphs. Yeah, let's do that actually. Um, here, I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna go back up here. Cause I I told myself I was only gonna do this while we we're recording. So let's knock let's knock maybe a couple of these out. What I've been trying to do is get the towers right. Just to get I love in open world games like this, just getting all the waypoints, the viewpoints, whatever. In Far Cry. Bitch. Ubisoft games, I'm always going for the towers because I just like seeing the map, getting the lay of the land. The bummer is I've tried doing two of them. <clears throat> for some reason, they're like locked behind story beats. Like you go there and this guy's like, hey, I'm stupid, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Okay. But yeah, anyways, let's go to these geoglyphs, because, uh, that Impa mission we did, you can do all the geoglyphs now, but they're, like, huge story beats, obviously, so I didn't want to, like, do them offline, so we'll just do them now. That'll yeah, be great. Man, I'm so far away from it. 
Might be nice to go up here, actually. Because with that gust, I could probably run off the top now. From the top now. The funk so, brother, check it out now. I just can't get over. I just can't get over how good that was. Man. What a special, special game. There's some games where... I think Jedi Survivor is a good example where, like... It's good, and you're playing, and you're like, wow, this is fun. But then, for whatever reason, like... It's just not... I mean, I, I would still give Jedi Survivor, like, a 9 out of 10. But it's not, like, a masterpiece, you know? It's just a great game. And I found myself, like, jaw-dropping in moments and being like, Man, that's so fun. He's got a lightsaber. He's doing this and that. Burn your ass, dude. Fuck out of here. Being a dick. Um... I'm trying to think of other games. It's like, I mean, any Zelda game, really. Pretty much any Zelda game for me, Mario. The Last of Us, both of them. God of Wars, Spider Man. Those are pretty much the ones. Like, there were, there were some games in my formative years that shaped my nostalgia, mainly Ocarina of Time. Banjo Kazooie, they're a great example. But this is probably the first game, I want to say since Ragnarok. Hold again, god damn it. I have an extra. Um. Yeah, I'll keep Ragnarok in there. But it's just, it's just crazy. I just want to cry the whole time I'm playing this. I think when I was three, three years old, yeah. I was a toddler, I was very small, but I was cognizant, because this is one of my first memories. I went over to a family friend's house, right? And they... were lovely people. And they had a... they had a teenage... son... who was like, way too old to be like, cool with me, you know, because I was just a toddler or whatever. They were like, oh, go hang out with him, you know, or we'll do adult stuff and... I was like, where is he? And they were like, oh, he's in the basement. Like, basement? Oh, brother, a basement dweller. So I went down there. And I'll never forget what I saw. It was the classic cartridge, um, what do you want to call it? A cartridge holder, the thing. It was like a drawer, and you slid it out. And I'll just, I'll never forget that. It was the first time I'd ever seen a video game. Where he had the, he was sitting on the floor, just like old school. It was 1994 or 5. So he was just on the ground, right? I see the two controllers, the NES controllers. And when you pull that drawer out, you're like, look at these. And then you just see all the games. So he popped Zelda in. The original Zelda. I'll never forget the cartridge and everything. And like, it was one of those things where he unplugged the second controller. And then when he was doing stuff, he'd say, hit this button or whatever. So it made it look like I was playing really nice. But even then I was like, hey man, I don't think my controller's plugged in. I was a pretty smart kid. But I think th why that's why this game, Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword didn't do it for me. I think Twilight Princess is more in the same vein where you're just like, you just get pulled back to childhood and you're like, man, what it would be like to be a kid again. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. You know, shit like that. Great song. I'm gonna go ahead and not fight shits. We got stuff to do. This is nice. I'm kind of glad, in a way, we got the temple done so quickly. Uh, I was worried recording this for the channel would be, like, not boring, but... 
a lot of it would be me just like running around kind of bullshitting. That's what makes the game great, and this game is more densely packed than the first game, I feel like. But it's great that we get to see stuff and experience stuff along the way. Dazzle fruit! What the fuck is a dazzle fruit? What is this, dude? This is what I'm saying, like, let's just stop and see what this is. I love that his avatar is. Can I. Do I get rid of him or something? I don't know how to get rid of him. I guess he's just. He's just chilling. I don't know what to do here. Oh, man, dude. Getting close to the. Uh, thing, though. Here, give me your give me your ability, Mister. Wish the gust lasted longer. I feel like he starts descending pretty quickly. Is that a bear? Damn, that's a big ass bear, dog. I don't want him to see me. I don't want to have to kill a poor bear. I can't Link be a vegetarian. I feel like some games you hunt and it's like, oh, you're hunting. Goodwill hunting. Um, just kidding. No, you're, you're like hunting for stuff and it's like... The only options are meat. But I feel like since this game there's so many like shrooms and... Veggies and stuff. I think he could just be a vegetarian. Okay, it's not over here. Over here. These things are cool. I kind of like this. Real for it. I don't see where we go anywhere. Here it is. Oh yeah. Memory time. Memory all alone in the moonlight. Gotta go to a baseball game here soon. I gotta go shower. Goosebumps. They're going to win so many awards for this game. Music, the sound design, the story, the... Hey, this is game of the year. I don't, like... <sighs> Dude. As I thought, this is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Uh, Grandma? I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> now, Zelda dear. Oh. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a... A distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. Oh. Oh. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. Hmm. Oh. I don't know what to say. Hmm. 
I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. So oh, cool, dude. Those cutscenes are so well written and acted. The video is sick. The Tear of the Kingdom. So cool. I think we'll end this episode here. We're making these a little bit shorter. But shorter is always good, and I feel like we did a lot of cool stuff. Man. Yeah, I was just... Just kind of blown away. Just sitting there meditating with the cutscene going. It's so crazy, like... This game is just top to bottom legit. It's one of the best games ever made. I'm confident in that. I'm gonna go cry in the shower now. Because emotionally overwhelmed by playing this hope you guys are having fun stay tuned for some more um okay bye